What was the brutalization hiding? The careful surgical removal and preservation of vital organs. The show is a very strange version of the buddy cop show. There's something fascinating about Will Graham who has this great perception of humanity and Hannibal Lecter who is in wonderful disguise as a gentleman psychiatrist who happens to be eating people. NBC has been incredibly supportive of the tone of the show. They all realize that we're doing a horror thriller and Thomas Harris really kind of crafted the crime thriller horror hybrid and if we're calling the show Hannibal we needed to have a certain amount of graphic content and a certain amount of horror. There's some gruesome stuff yet to come and and there's some particularly uh, visceral uh, makeup effects and that was our goal with a lot of these these death tableaus is that they had to be signature in a way that they fit into the Thomas Harris world. And we wanted to make sure that we were representing Thomas Harris in, in the show because otherwise why do it if you're not going to embrace the source material. Knife wounds are cuts, not stabs. Anatomical knowledge, dissection skills, mutilation, organs removed, victim clothed on display. We got 22 signature components, all attributable to the same killer. 22 possible signature components. <laughs> it's the Ripper. Mass Mickelson came in with such a specific view of the character. Play Hannibal not as a cannibal psychiatrist, but really as Lucifer on Earth, manipulating humanity being in awe of humanity on one level and then being able to subvert the best of ourselves and, and craft monsters in his own right. Will Graham definitely is losing his grip on his sanity and he's being nudged by Hannibal and we see that Hannibal is manipulating everybody in the circle and we have Will Graham at the center of the piece and we have a devil on his shoulder and we have an angel on his shoulder and that kind of goes back and forth. We're not sure who is the devil all the time and who's the angel because we get to see Jack Crawford as a manipulator. He is a bit of a son of a bitch because he is he's willing to do whatever it takes to save lives, even that if it costs somebody their sanity. Arguably, Hannibal is performing an unorthodox therapy, but over the course of the season, you could argue that it is an effective therapy. Perhaps Will Graham needs more friends like Hannibal Lecter and less friends like Jack Crawford. I have conversations with a version of you and hope that the actual you gets what he needs. The season is now starting to boil. It's going to be a pretty big surprise as to where we end up because it is we start from such a different place and we go to such heights of insanity. All the elements between Abigail Hobbs and her story and what's happening with Alana Bloom and what's happening with Jack Crawford and Will Graham, his descent into madness, all of that reaches a fever pitch quite literally. We really burn through a lot of story. I think by the time we get to the end of the first season, people are assuming that's where we would be going by the end of a series. But we've got many more cards up our sleeves to play with the Hannibal Lecter character and his manipulations of Will Graham. So by the, by the time that we get to that last scene in the final episode of the season is, is, is going to, I think, shock and surprise and also get people hungry for more.